Hi guys, it is a gorgeous, once again, day in the developing drought in Austin, Texas. It is April, probably April 11th today, and uh, my rant today has been inspired by the second, it might even be the third person that has suggested I join a group called... Austin Transition Society, I believe. It's one of these transitions. Transitions meaning the transition from fossil fuels to, uh, to non-fossil fuels as individuals, uh, society, civilizations, and hopefully a species. You know, our need to uh, wean ourselves from fossil fuels. Here's how I have weaned myself from fossil fuels. There's, there's my weaning from fossil fuels. Uh, so I need to get this, my weaning from fossil fuels out of the way before I turn my camera three feet because I don't want to run over. I don't want, do not want to run over uh, my bicycle. As I go to water my garden, now how do you run over, oh shit, even before I, now look at this guys, before, before I get into my water truck, let's see, I don't want all this to fall off, what do I got here, let's, of course we need to put the gas can in the back of the truck, let's see, we need to put the Echo chainsaw, so it doesn't fall off. Let's see. Let's see. We need to get the bar and chain lubricant off of here. We need to get the Castrol GTX drive hard motor oil. Looks like that battery's safe. Okay, and of course we need to get the Echo gas powered weed eater safely ensconced here so I can uh, let's see all right now I'm losing my track here about my rant about the transition society so just a minute hold on I'll get along to my rant about transitioning ourselves off of fossil fuels and we have a dead battery in our fossil fuels. now this you gotta love guys I have, in, in order to water my lawn, notice my lawn and this drought, and this building drought. Now here is our water system, I've pointed it out to you before, which sits on top of this. But I cannot start the uh, gas sucking water truck. You know, I, I mean, I've moved my bicycle. I've moved the weed eater, I've moved the chainsaw, I've moved the gas can and the two or three oil cans to make way for the water truck for the lawn in front of my trailer. Oh well, what was I ranting about? Oh yes, the transition movement. That's one good way to transition is to kill all the batteries. I have no clue what this thing is. So anyway, I want to tell you the story of, of why I am not a member of the Austin transition movement or any other transition movement uh, on the planet. Let's see, I'm just taking a tour of, of where I live in Austin, Texas as I do this rant. Anyway, where I live, you know, here in South Austin, uh, in fact, last year, I'm 99% sure this information is correct. Uh, we had a transition meeting right here on this very property. Let's see. Look at this gas tank. That's a five gallon. Got that gas tank. Now the grill time charcoal lighter. This is going to play a big part. I wonder if I could get this truck started. Well, it doesn't make any sense to start this truck to water my lawn because all the water's on the other truck. What was I thinking? Anyway, 
it, there's about a 1% chance, guys, that the meeting I'm remembering from last year was something called the Bioregional Conference Meeting, which was held at this very spot. You know, between all the transition meetings and the bioregional meetings and the permaculture meetings and the Awakening the Dreamer Symposia uh, and all of this stuff, it all runs together in my brain about these, what I call these mutual admiration societies where all these save the planet do-gooders meet together and slap each other on the back and drink a lot of wine and say, oh, they're saving the planet. So, uh... Wow, check this out. Look, look at this. Now this, one, one day I'm going to do a, do a rant about hoarding. This is my buddy's ladder collection. I count one, two, three. We got four ladders blocked in there. Anyway, I keep, uh, keep getting off topic as I tend to do. So anyway, I am 95% sure that it was the transition meeting. Jimmo, is that you? Nope, Jimmo's not here. I wanted to, I wanted to confirm with him. Anyway, I am 95% sure that we had the transition meeting right here. Jimmo, do we ever have a trans an Austin transition meeting here? Yes. We did have an Austin transition. Okay. Jimmo has confirmed we did have an Austin transition meeting here. Uh, all right. So I got that. Uh, so anyway, the, the, the transition society, as I said, was supposed to wean us off of fossil fuels. And uh, so we met here on Watson Road. Now, Watson Road is is one block from South Congress Avenue. South Congress Avenue is this street right here. I'm looking down the block. That's where the bus stop is. One block from where they were having the transition meeting is where the Austin City bus stops once every 10 minutes. So anyway, we had the transition meeting here and probably about 20 people showed up and uh, of the, 20, of the 20 people, 19 of them arrived individually in gas-sucking cars. Now, while I lived here, and there was one friend of mine, Leela Bear, she drove her bike, she drove, she rode her bicycle. I would say the other 19 people all drove their gas-sucking cars, of which right here, let's count one, two, three, there's the old, you know, five cars here. Uh, you would think we were having a transition meeting right now, but, uh, so they drove here to have their meeting, and, and 19 of the 20 people showed up in the, uh, to the transition meeting in their gas-sucking cars, one block from the uh, one block from the bus stop, not one person, not one single, well, not, not two people, I guess you would say carpooled. It was complete zero participation in carpooling. So anyhow, they got here and guys, you know, I honestly don't remember the, uh, I wonder if I can get this gas sucking lawnmower cranked up. So I need to mow some grass. I wonder if we can get this fired up. Uh, anyway, so while we were here, and I can't make, it was, it was this very barrel here, uh, we needed to start a fire. And uh, it was kind of chilly that night, so in that very barrel, we uh, started a fire, but we couldn't get the fire going. So you got to imagine there's there's 20 people transitioning away from the fossil fuel industry. We can't get the fire going, you know, and and it's not very comfortable in a transition meeting to be drinking, you know, sipping your red wine, talking about the death of this planet when you're cold. So we had to get that damn fire going. And so what, what does Jimmo do? I mean, being the consummate host, you know, since Jimmo is hosting this party, he, uh... 
he picked up the handy bottle of grill time premium quality charcoal lighter danger combustible harmful or fatal if swallowed read cautions on back panel okay then you turn over the read cautions on back panel under harmful or fatal if swallowed how to fire up a great barbecue that's the first thing you read above the above the cautions about it being harmful or fatal if swallowed that's really all i remember about the transition meeting that's his you know uh my friend leela bear who drove her bicycle here uh she and i saw the irony and the humor of this of the fact that we were starting a fire at a transition meeting uh, with fossil fuels. M maybe you see the irony there too. I, is it funny? It, 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 is, it is so funny on such a deeply tragic level. It, it, you know, it, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, what are you going to say about starting a campfire at an Austin transition meeting with fossil fuels? Uh, and as I recall, the former, I'm 100% sure he was a member, and I think he was actually the president of the, of the Austin Transition Society a couple of years ago. Uh, right when I sold my car, I sold my car on March 5th, 2009, so it was three years ago. I won't embarrass this guy by mentioning his name. I'm pretty sure he was the president of the Austin Transition Society three years ago. Uh, so anyway, I finally sold my last gas-sucking car. I was actually down in Costa Rica when I dumped it in March of 2009. And, and at that point, the before Humpty Dumpty Society, I had a little blog called Chicken Little Society, so I invited you know any of my friends on the chicken little society he's a cute little planet eater i mean he really is cute uh i invited the other members of the transition society to uh to join me in selling their gas sucking cars and i got a letter from the uh from the i believe president of the austin transition society you know, explaining to me that getting rid, that individuals getting rid of gas-sucking cars was not the way to transition out of a gas-sucking car-addicted society. That it, was, that it was bigger than that. That it was those mean old oil companies, those big bad planet eaters, that needed uh, to think of a new way, I guess, or the politicians who are owned by the oil companies uh, to come up with new ways to transition us. You know, this whiny, I did a thing on whines yesterday, this whiny little poor, poor victim me. We can't, we can't do this. <laughs> We can't do this as those big bad planet eaters and, and those big bad politicians that are keeping us from transitioning. Guys, what he is saying is absolutely true. I agree with the man 100% as I have said in many other gas sucking car rants. It, it, because I'm not driving a car and, 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 and doing the bicycle makes no difference to this planet if everyone in the Austin transition movement got rid of their car today and started riding bicycles if everyone in the United States of America stopped driving today and got on a bicycle it would make zero difference to the planet do you think I'm stupid do you think I don't understand this basic logic that uh, I am doing virtually nothing to save this planet. 
by giving myself such an inconvenient lifestyle by dumping my gas sucking car. I realize that. And I realize the truth in another statement, uh, which you know is always attributed to Gandhi, whether he was the one who made it or not, is be the change you want the world to be. Change begins here in the U.S. Army. Keep the U.S. Army out of South Austin. Change begins here, guys. This, this victim mentality that we all suffer from, these big bad oil companies and big bad politicians. Yes, uh, we need to change all of that. The change begins here when we stop playing their game as individuals, okay? You do not drive a gas-sucking car to an Austin transition meeting or any other transition meeting. You don't do it. You don't drive a gas-sucking car into the new paradigm. Uh, there's, you know, this unbelievable addiction, this victim mentality. Uh, you know, as I mentioned recently, one of my heroes, Howard James Kunstler, uh, look him up, I have him here on my favorites, he actually calls it the, the Stockholm Syndrome. That, that we, we, we are so victimized by and so enslaved by our addiction to these fossil fuels that we are identifying we you know it's gotten so sick that we cannot get on a damn bus to go to a transition meeting much less a bicycle or carpool you know if, if, if you're a member of a transition, I don't give a shit whether you're in Austin or someone said Laguna Beach is the one I got today. If you're driving a gas-sucking car to a transition meeting, you're a damn hypocrite. You know it. I know it. <clears throat> we all know it. You're not fooling me. Maybe you're fooling yourself for one damn minute that uh that you're transitioning from this fossil fuel economy okay now that that rant is over i am going to have to find some jumper cables so i can jump start oh, look at this there might be some jumper cables hanging out of here i've you know what you know this this uh well, let's see. I wonder if the jumper cables still work on this car. Looks like it's been here for a few years. Now there's the transition I like to see. I wonder if I can take these jumper cables from this. Well, how am I going to get the other? Um, look at this gas can. Okay, and now we got two more gas-powered chainsaws here. So we have three gas-powered chainsaws within a 30-foot radius within 50 feet of my trailer. All right, I got to figure, I got to wrap this up, guys. You know, I got to water my damn lawn in this drought, and I can't do that until I start this gas-sucking car, and I can't start this car, th this truck, until I go up front, find some jumper cables, Get another gas sucking truck so I can drive down here, jump and take one engine, jump that off to this engine so I can get this truck started so I can back up this car, this truck. I need to back it up 30 feet. Oh, maybe the hose will reach. Anyway, I got things to do, guys. I'd love to sit here and talk, but I got to go. Happy transitioning. Bye guys.